Hey there, welcome back to Georgetown Survival. I'm Mighty Mike. We're here just shortly after the last episode. Haven't done much, if anything, since the last episode. Other than, uh, looked around for some shed possibilities. Uh, what I'm going to do this episode is I need to hook up this trailer over here. So I need to take the gooseneck off of this truck. We'll just leave it right where it is. It should be fine. And we'll pull this around over here and get the trailer hooked up. But what we're going to do is go ahead and sell the silage. Now, I don't know that it's the best time of year to sell it. Matter of fact, let's just check that. Well, I don't know. Uh, it is on hard mode, so it could be adjusting for that, but it looks fairly flat throughout the year. No big peaks on the uh, other months, so I'm assuming it's not going to matter too much. Uh, in my experience, I don't think it matters too much for silage. The price normally doesn't fluctuate too much. I'm going to pull this over here. Run over here and grab the loader and it looks like it already has the bucket on there that's good let me get this opened up here okay and we'll start scooping it up that's a little bit unlevel there Ooh, that's going to leave a dent. When I put this this pit in, I oh shoot, I didn't have a whole lot of money at that time, so I didn't spend too much trying to level the ground. So my plan is once I get this picked up, I'm going to try to level out around the pit just a little bit and use this area over here to put in a shed. Now my goal with the shed is I don't want anything fancy and I thought about trying to just do something that looked a little bit temporary like even a uh, tarp color covered frame or something like that because the plan is to eventually move to a farm one of the uh, farms back closer to town so I was thinking maybe I'd just do something that's a little bit portable or temporary looking but then I got to thinking since I can't sell this as part of the rules that I put in place for myself I can't sell this starting land I'll probably just keep this as a vacation spot or whatever so I'll just leave the little shed up here to have to put you know four wheelers or whatever in it maybe a small tractor I leave up here for dragon logs around or whatever so I did find a few that I'm interested in but I have not checked them out yet I'll do that once I get this loaded up kind of figure out what I want to go with and then see how much of the ground I need to level out Not real sure how much this is going to hold. I guess that is all. Okay, so it looks like almost half of it. Let's see. It'll tell me here. 31,000. I think there was 40 something thousand. I think that trailer holds 15,000. 
So it's going to be several trips. Go ahead and get the bucket topped off here. Let's see if I can grab that little bit there. Yeah. Alright, we'll just leave that right there. And now I need to find out where to sell the silage. Let's take a look at the economy screen here. Silage. Looks like the best price is Agway or Ace Lawn and Garden. Let's just take a look at the map and see. Okay, there's Agway. Ace is over here. So it's probably Agway is going to be the closest. All right, well, we'll jump in the truck here and head that way. Hopefully, the truck can pull this okay. I know it has struggled a little bit with some loads in this trailer. But I'm hoping that the silage is not too heavy. It seems to be doing okay so far. Alright, very good. We'll get down the road a little bit and then we'll bring you back as I get a little closer to the uh, cell location. Alright, so we just left town. You can see down on the little map that we are south of town now. Headed out this way. I believe there should be a road up here to the right that we will take to go up to the uh, Agway cell point. And while we're riding out this way, I just wanted to thank each of you for watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, and uh, supporting me so far. I also wanted to apologize. My video schedule on this series has been delayed just a little bit. The work and life has just been extremely busy. So just trying to uh, juggle everything I have going on. Uh, but West Texas is my main focus right now. So I try to do this one when I have free time. Alright, we'll get this silage sold here. I don't know what it will bring. Based on how the money is going up right now, it doesn't appear to be much. And so some of you have commented about the dirty truck. <laughs> and I I don't like it either. But I need to get something to clean up $897. That's almost not worth it. I do need to get something to clean my truck. I've looked in town for a car wash. I haven't gone all through the town. But I have looked around. I can't find one. There is a gas station. But I did not see a car wash. So I may do some more looking around if I can't find one. I may have to break down and find, get something back up at the homestead that I can use to wash my truck with. Because I know it's bugging some of you. I'm going to make the trek back to the homestead. We'll get another trailer full. Alright, just got back up here to the farm. We get another trailer loaded up here. Yeah, this seems hardly worth the effort. Probably be best used as food for some cows or something. But I will sell this run of it just because I do need to do some landscaping around the pit. And I'm afraid if I leave it in there when I try to do the landscaping, I will end up losing some of it. I 
I tell you, I am still impressed with this lever loader. It has done extremely well. I may have to see what other attachments we have that I could use with it. Add some versatility to it. Oh, a little too far down there. I think one more partial scoop will be what it takes to finish that load up. And then it looks like probably, let's see how much we have left in here. 16, oh man, it's going to be just a little bit more than one more load. Okay, I'll run this up and get it sold. Come back and go ahead and grab the other load and get that sold as well and see where that puts us. Then we'll uh, look at doing some landscaping. Okay, just got the last full load taken off and all that I have left is this little bit here in the bucket. So I'm not going to take it off right away. I'll probably do that some other time. Maybe when I need to take this trailer down to pick something up, I'll just make a trip then. It is quite a drive all the way down to the Agway location. So I'll get this moved over here out, whoa, out of the way. And I did think about putting the shed over here behind the house, since this is where I've been keeping all the equipment, but I don't want to really clutter up this area too much. Wanted to keep it looking nice. So I thought maybe over in this location somewhere would be good. So we're getting the truck here and move it. We just pull it over out of the way here. All right, well, let's check into some landscaping here. Try and get zoomed in here. I want to flatten out around this silage pit just a little bit. I know this is going to uh, use some of my funds here, but that's okay. We're going to use them. Uh, there's not much flat ground over here, so it's going to it's going to be necessary in order to uh, get a location set up. So we're going to just try and flatten out a little area here. Then I actually want to bring it around up in front of here a little bit. We'll just smooth all of that out later on. And then back here, we want to smooth this out as well. Hopefully it won't mess up that tree too bad. It looks like it's going to be okay.
don't want to get into the field either. Let's see, how is this looking over here? Let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit too. Matter of fact, I'll just smooth all of this out. Oh, got into the field. Oh no. Oh no. Well, can't help that. What's done is done. All right, we'll just smooth all of that out. And we will hit the smooth button here and just taper it all out. All right, well, that should work out pretty good. Let me go see if I can fix this field over here. I think it's going to probably... Oh, it didn't. It didn't mess up the field. Wow. Okay. Man. Can't believe that happened. Let's see if I can smooth it out just a little bit. All right. Well, that works. And now we have a nice approach. Oh, wrong way. Nice approach over here to the field. All right. Looking good. So now, I need to determine what shed I want to use. Let's hop over here and take a look and see what I have in sheds and see what they look like. That would fit in pretty good. I don't want a huge shed here. Oh, that's that's pretty large there. But that that actually may work out pretty good. All right, so this is what I went with. That was about thirty five hundred bucks. Pretty cheap. Got the uh, wood look, which it doesn't quite match the cabin over there, but I think the uh, rustic wood look with the uh, timbers would be something we could potentially build out here in the wilderness. So I have a little bit of landscaping left to do here. I've got it all flattened out. I have flattened out an area around here so that I can drive back there. So now what I'm doing is just trying to uh, smooth out this area here, just to transition the road over. And we'll just smooth all of this out here, so that it is easy to get the vehicles in and out. All right, that should be real good. Nice and smooth. Pretty good transition over here. And what I will do is we'll do a little painting here. So this video's, video is going to be a little bit shorter. But we'll just do a little bit of selling and a little bit of landscaping and farm build here. So I think this is the one for, yeah, the rock face. That looks pretty good. It's like we cut into the mountain there. Oh, that's the wrong color dirt. Nope. I don't like any of those. There we go. We'll come back around over here. Oh, that tree. I don't like that there. Tell you what I'm going to do. Let's go hop in the lever. Hook up the grinder. And we'll just get rid of that tree. Like I said, when I started this series... Uh, it was just to have some fun. 
Never done a survival series. Not going to get too serious with this series. Just but there's a tree in the way. I'll just get rid of it. No big deal. Uh-oh. Can I get rid of the stump there? What's going to happen here? There we go. Problem solved. We'll just back this out of the way here. And then we'll hop back in the uh, landscaping mode. I apologize for all the trees that are popping into the picture. We'll just come around here and uh, make this look like we cut into the uh, rock face of the mountain. We had a little dirt there at the end. Nope, let's go back with rock there. That, back around. Not too bad. Not too bad. I like that. All right, so we have that done. We'll get rid of some of this grass that's kind of overlapping into the rock there. We all know grass is not going to grow in the rock. I may come back and put a dirt strip along the top there, and that'll make that blend in really good. And then I'm just going to paint some dirt underneath this shed here. And then I'll just bring it out to uh, meet up with the road here. And I'm going to change up and put this dirt inside this pit here. Just make that a little bit easier to see and clean it up just a little bit. And then we'll paint some grass back. I think I'm going to bring this dirt road over just a little bit. So Georgetown is starting to look a little bit like a, a farm here. Got a house and now an equipment shed. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this dirt back around here as well. So it looks like I've been driving back here. I'll tell you one of the cool things about this game is that you can just make things look like you would like them to look. Got a lot of availability for just changing things, making it look how you would like it. Being creative. And we'll just add a little grass back where this was here. Uh, I didn't want to get it up the side of that rock face there. Oh, grinder wheel. I think we'll taper off this corner here. Something like that. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. Okay. 
there we have it. How we looking here? Let's zoom around here. Not too bad. I like that. So we can start putting equipment over here. I uh, will put the things in here that would technically need to stay dry, such as fertilizer and lime and stuff like that. Should have some room for equipment as well. Let's see, what was the... I think I still have lime in this guy over here. So we'll put that under the shed, get it dry, and then I'll move those big bags over as well. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was a little bit different. I actually did zero farming in this episode. But just uh, necessary chores around the farm. I guess it could have been like a uh, behind the scenes video, just doing some things that needed to be done and uh, you got to see a little bit of some landscaping and buildings going in so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like if you are not a subscriber please consider clicking that subscribe button today I would appreciate it I appreciate all of you for the continued support and we'll see you back here next time in Georgetown <laughs>